line shapes and colours move. Now let's look at the design of a very useful object. To save time and money, early Americans made the most out of what they had. They saved their worn out clothing and cut the cloth into pieces, arranged them in a design and sewed them together into a warm bed cover called a quilt. Often all women in a town would turn their sewing work into a party called a quilting bee. Making art meant fun for everyone. Let's look at a quilt made around 1850 by a woman named Margie Gorett who lived in Pennsylvania. The design in this quilt is called Double Irish Chain in Christmas colours. This design is made by repeating a shape over and over in a regular pattern. The shapes inside the lines of red and green squares are symmetrical. A shape is symmetrical when you can fold it in half, maybe just in your imagination, and the halves match perfectly. What about the entire quilt? Is it design symmetrical? The design of this quilt makes your eyes travel from square to square along all the straight lines. Your eyes also travel because of the artist's choice of colours. Red and green are complementary colours. When complementary colours are placed side by side, they appear more vivid. Willow Oak Quilt Now let's look at another quilt. Its pattern is called Willow Oak. We don't know who made it. We do know that she cut out many copies of the same shapes out of blue fabric and stitched them in a regular pattern onto a white piece of fabric. How many different shapes do you see? To answer that question, you probably counted the blue shapes, but there are white shapes in this design too. The blue shapes are the figures, the white shapes are the ground. An artist pays attention to both the figures and the ground in creating a design. There's another element of design that adds beauty to these quilts, something you can't feel from a picture in a book. The quilt artist created a lovely texture. If you could run your hands over these quilts, you would feel the stitches. Even they form part of the design. A colour wheel. A colour wheel shows the three primary colours, red, yellow and blue. And in between them, the colours orange, green and purple, made by mixing the primary colours. Complementary colours are found opposite one another on the colour wheel. Can you name the three pairs of complementary colours on this colour wheel? Red and green, violet and yellow, blue and orange. Drawing with scissors. For years, the French artist Henri Matisse painted bright, colourful pictures. He became too ill to stand at an easel. He started cutting out paper figures and gluing them onto a ground. Matisse said he was drawing with scissors. He made collages, works of art made of pictures and papers, pasted together in a design. One of Matisse's collages is called Icarus, after a Greek myth. Icarus's father, Daedalus, made wings out of wax and feathers. They fastened their wings and began to soar. But Icarus, against his father's warnings, flew too close to the sun. The wax in his wings melted and he fell into the sea. Which part of this story do you think Matisse's collage tells? The arm and shoulders of the figure are curved like wings, but he does not seem to be flying. It looks as though gravity is pulling his body down. His right leg hangs a bit below the blue background. What do you think Matisse meant by this? Do you think the blue is the sky or the sea? Did you notice the bright yellow shapes? They could be feathers or stars. The sharp straight lines contrasts with the curves of the figure. They seem to be moving right off the page. And what about the tiny red oval? In this design, Matisse chose to show Icarus's heart instead of his face. It's interesting to consider why.